today we'll be making animal handprints. Our major activities will be painting, coloring, then you're finished! But don't forget to clean up. This is the first part of our hand printing series. We'll be doing monkey. For the materials, we'll be needing paper, sturdy paper, maybe watercolor paper, vellum board or bristol or, or an old folder, something that can resist paint. We need two water containers. This is for the first wash or the dirty wash. This will be the second wash for the clean wash. And then we have we'll be using watercolor sets. This is a watercolor cake from Faber Castle. So it's very convenient. So I chose this one. But you can also use watercolor tubes or those in the bottles. For the finger painting activity, it is better to use uh, sticky paints or thick paints because we'll be using it for uh, printing hand printing. It needs to stick to your hand and then it needs to stick to the paper. And then for extra details, we will be also be using oil pastels. If for some kids who have difficulty holding an oil pastel, you can use a sponge. I cut a triangular sponge. Then I put a hole in it using a cutter and a pencil. Then you can insert it here so that some children with a difficulty gripping writing tools can hold it easily like this you can also use these or the brushes this. sponge is nice because it can easily fit to different uh, yeah, so they can hold easier i created a triangular sponge because you know when you're holding a tripod grip you can hold it this way Okay, like this. Okay, alright, so for this one, you want to wet the <clears throat> paint first. For the first one, I'll be making a monkey, a monkey finger paint. So let's wet, let's wet some of the paints that we're gonna need. We're gonna use some brown and flesh. So I'm wetting it now. So first, first part, we're going to draw the branches. So going to write a line here. This is where the monkey is holding on to the bones. I'm using fluorescent oil pastels, but you can also use ordinary oil pastels. All pastels are nicer because you don't need to press hard in order to get the vibrant effect. Drawing some leaves here. Draw some hands. There! And then we're going to use our hands. So my hands are quite big, but it's okay. So let's try if a watercolor cake can do the job. <clears throat> so first we're going to paint this part brown. You know when buying watercolor cakes, buy the ones that has at least an inch in diameter width, like this one. The brush can fit easily here, either this way or this way. Because when you buy the small ones, the one that comes in the yellow case, the cheap ones that comes with a very uh, small paintbrush, it's not really good. It's not really nice to use. 
Okay, for this one, once you cover the dog, this can be tickly for some kids. Okay. You might have to do this twice in case the paint, uh, in case the paint is not enough. Make sure all parts are wet. And then you're going to step here. This will the four fingers will be the arms of the monkey. So you have to this here. And then make sure they press hard. You can even do this to your hand. Squishy. There! Now I just got to wash my hands. Wash your hands. I need to wash my hands. I'm wash my hands. Once they're done with the painting, you have to wipe their hands immediately before they touch anything else. So that's it. So for this part, for the head, you can use a different sheet of paper. This time, I'm going to use uh, this one. You know, a used envelope. I'm going to draw. So the thing with watercolor is it's translucent. You cannot, it's hard to put a different color on top of it unless you're using poster paint. So first draw a circle that's slightly bigger than your hand and then draw two smaller circles. This will be for the ears. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're gonna cut it. I'm using an envelope because I want a different texture. And this is something I found at home. This will be the head of the monkey. Actually, I think it should be bigger. I think monkey ears, one characteristic of a monkey, what makes a monkey a monkey you are the big ears. Okay. And just hold it like this, then cut it. Should put the ears first. When you put glue, just put a dot. When I teach students how to use glue, I just tell them to put a dot and do this sound. Here. You really don't put a lot of glue. It's a common problem for for me as an art teacher. Some students get so excited putting glue. Just turn up like that. See now here. We have the monkey head. Now, using a darker shade of brown, I'm using a smaller brush. We can get some brown. And some black. Okay, you're going to trees. make a McDonald's sign. There, letter M. Then, put it. There. Then, also trace here. It's okay if it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. Like we still work. Using some black for the nose. And you can also use brown for the tail, swirly tail. See, this is a this becomes a dry brush. A dry brush is like you can see some white parts individual strands of hair. So what you do, just get more water and repeat tracing the line. It's the line once. So now 
how it's more so. Now for the eyes, if you have googly eyes, you can use them. Here. Okay. But if you don't have, it's okay. You can, imp we can improvise. What we always do, we do our sticker eyes. So we have paper. Paper, fold it into two, then draw. This is prettier than the blue eyes. Yay. Let's put some blue. Let's put the dot. Dot. Yes. Dot. Yes. And then let's make a smiley face. Maybe we can use a pen. We can also use some oil pastels as well. You can add more details here. Drawing some hands. Here. Now there's a monkey. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to get updates once I upload a new video.